Hello my children, I am back from the grocery store. I got the milk, took nine years, bought them back. Okay, so today, guess what? I turned 21. Which means I can legally take my first ever sip of alcohol and I wonder what it tastes like. Also, I can legally adopt a child. I also just completed my junior year at Michigan State University, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah my birthday's May 4th actually, so if you're seeing this on May 5th, which is probably when I'll post it, my birthday was yesterday, so you missed it. Sorry, cutie. Sorry about the glare. Does this help? These are the glasses I usually use, but look at the glare on these. It's like a blue glare. It's even worse. I could not wear them, but I'm literally so blind right now. So yeah, a whole lot of things are gonna be changing this year and the upcoming year. I kinda wanna let you guys in on all of it. First things first though, so I'll be moving out really soon here. So you can't set packages here anymore because I won't live here anymore. Which is really sad because that's like my favorite series, but I'll get you a new address soon, don't worry. I already opened the box that it was in, but this shit is insane. Get ready. Don't have to, but if you wanna plug my Insta, I would appreciate it. Yeah at newstyle.customs. I totally will, because when you guys see what he made, you'll be hyped. You guys ready? This man made custom, custom MMG shoes. How sick is that? And they're like, they're one mil edition. Wait, come on camera, you got this. One mil edition. It says MMG on the back. That's sick. It's beautiful. He also put Bubby and Goose like on the one mil merch, which is dropping. I wanted to get you guys that merch today, but I'm leaving for Switzerland tomorrow. Yeah, see, there's a lot to talk about. I'm leaving for Switzerland tomorrow. Can't do that till I get back. I'm only gone for a week, and I also have videos already ready to post, so don't worry, I got you. Oh, also, do you guys remember the other fan mail videos where someone kept, kept going to lego.com and sending me return parts? Get ready for this. Dear Lego fan, thanks for your interest in Lego bricks. As you know, we offer a service where fans can request replacement Lego bricks. After reviewing your account history and the parts requested you've made over time, we've decided to no longer offer this service to you. As a result, we've canceled your order. Orders placed through lego.com online or over the phone for missing or broken parts will be automatically canceled from this point on. Serious words real quick, and I know that probably a lot of the YouTubers that you guys watch either probably dropped out of college or just didn't go. And as much as I'm not gonna judge anyone for the decisions that they choose to make, I don't think that's something that you guys should be inspired by. It is awesome to be blessed enough to where you don't need to go to college. I definitely don't need to be in college at all. Like financially, definitely don't need to be. Especially being a YouTuber, the only way you really get to be this blessed, like as blessed as me and a lot of the other YouTubers you guys watch, is for one, yeah, you have to be consistent and make quality content, but you also have to get pretty darn lucky. I mean, the only reason that I can make good videos and quality videos that I believe now is because I got super lucky to be making YouTube videos during Madden Mobile. I was just pretty lucky to start YouTube at the same time that Madden Mobile was popping, right? They were great for the time and they were great for the era and it was lucky I was posting them then. But like, they weren't a very high quality. I hope you guys do pursue your dreams or do anything that you want. But if you have the opportunity to get a higher education and you're considering not doing that because one of your role models, like someone you saw on YouTube or someone who's really famous or someone like that didn't go to college, I don't think that's a very good idea. No one can take your degree from you. No one can take the knowledge and the education you get. And on top of that, college has been the best decision of my life because I've gotten to live my life. If I went off and just was a YouTuber, I would just be sitting in my room like making videos. Being here, I actually get, I've met so many people. I've made so many connections. All the best experiences I've ever had in my whole life have come over the past two years at college. So I know college is not for everybody. I'm not pushing in that direction. I encourage you to do whatever you can to invest in yourself and make yourself like a, a reputable human. <laughs> I hope that you guys are not encouraged by other people who drop out of college to do the same shit. That's so head ass, you guys. You all have so much potential and so much purpose, especially if you're younger than me, you have that much more time to make something awesome of yourself. Like that's so sick that you have that opportunity. So please don't throw it away because you saw some guy play Fortnite and then drop out of college. Like don't do that. I don't know why I said all that. Oh. That's where I was going with this. So I have one more year of college left. I have the scene, my senior year and I'll have my bachelor's in marketing. And then after that, I have one more year here, which will be my master's. I'll get my master's in 
Science of Marketing Research. Hopefully, that's the plan. I still have to get admitted to the masters and I still have to complete the masters, but that's my goal. <laughs> Additionally, this summer I have an internship with Pepsi in Grand Rapids, which is gonna be so awesome. Uh, so if any of you guys are from around that area, hopefully I'll see you at some point. After I get the masters, that's when I'll start making real decisions as to whether I'll still be doing YouTube or I'll just go straight full time. It's kind of hard to say right now, but that's good news for you guys because absolutely for the next two straight years, meaning my senior year of college and when I'm getting my master's, I will still be posting videos. For the past two years, I've been posting videos while in college, so it's not, and nothing's gonna change. I told you guys this on Twitter already, but for all of June and all of July, so 60 straight days, I'm not posting a single Madden video, and I know that lots of you subscribe for that, and that does suck, but I have a lot more to offer you guys than Madden content. Additionally, I don't think the game's that fun anymore. I played it for so long. Now, before you go freaking out, there was a point in time when I made the same announcement video to say that I was done playing Madden Mobile and everyone shit their pants and gave a bunch of dislikes and commented a bunch. And now here we are. The only person in competition with me for the amount of Madden views I get is your boy Pizza. So at the time I was a nobody in Madden console and here we are. So I think that it's definitely doable for me to post legitimate in real life content and that's it and for us to still be able to have fun and do well on YouTube. Additionally, doing well on YouTube is uh, subjective. What it's really about is being proud of the content you make. Cause I could continue to make like dog shit Madden content that I don't care about, but I don't really want to do that. Cause that's not gonna make me happy at all. That's why I'm gonna try this June, July thing. When August rolls around and the new Madden comes out, I will still post that Madden. Cause I will enjoy it at that time and I will be proud of that content. But I think it will be good to push myself out of my comfort zone and make stuff better creatively. I know to a lot of you this probably doesn't make any sense, but I just got an email that the one mil merch was delivered like right now. So I'm gonna go run downstairs, see if that's true. And if it is, um, I'll be back and I'll have the merch, so yeah. Guess whose merch came in, boy, you ready for this? I know I hit one mil a while ago, but it's not easy to make t-shirts that you're proud of, okay? So give me a break. Here's the back, absolute Heat! Yo, I also want to say, rest in peace to my boy Bubby. Bubby passed away recently. Um, he was the best dog ever though. I know he's in doggo heaven, um, so it's okay. But Bubby will not be in videos anymore. But he is on the merch still, of course. Can't leave him off. So we've got Bubby and Goose. The chains say one mil. Can you see that? That's like good material too. I don't do that cheap stuff. And the front, I made this myself on Photoshop. It's dope. It's one MMG, but it's a gradient. So this MMG is like the one tannish gold color, but this like fades from orange to like light. It's dope. I'm putting it on right now. Look at that puppy. Fashion tip for all you fellas out there, always cuff your sleeves twice. Unless you have giant biceps. It's usually not possible, but I don't have giant biceps, so. Look at that. That's some merch if I've ever seen it. With that being said, are they for sale right now? No, uh, but stay on the lookout on my Instagram within the next like four days and then there'll be a link on my Instagram to buy it. It'll also be cheap like last time. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I don't do this to make money off of it. Like I do this cause you guys want merch sometimes. So, so yeah, I think that's it. Stay on the lookout for this. You'll see it on Instagram. June and July will be fun. I'm excited to see what videos I end up making. That's it, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.